Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Rolling with Nick All Things Season 1, Episode 2. Just a quick... I don't even know. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't like how dark this I'm looking right now with the sunlight and everything. I tried different angles and stuff. It wasn't working, but I do want to get this video out for y'all. So welcome back to another episode, season one, episode two, once again, of all things. Hope you all enjoyed the last episode of Campus Tours, University of West Georgia. So if you don't know me, I am Nicholas Ramsey, host of Roller with Nick Campus Tours and all this stuff on this channel. So basically earlier in the season, I introduced a new segment, which is all things. I did it for Emory University. Um, so now I'm gonna do it for University of West Georgia. Whereas basically when I go to a school, I do campus tours. And then after campus tours, what I'm going to do is just pretty much introduce the school, the requirements, pretty much like a lot of stuff that you wanna know if you're trying to apply to the school. So I'm pretty sure like that's the audience that I'm tailoring to, the people who are very interested in the school or the parents and all that good stuff. So we are not gonna waste any time, y'all, and let's get to rolling. All right, y'all, so we're gonna start with tuition. As you can see on this chart, According to a 2023 report, the undergraduate tuition and fees for in-state students was $5,941, and for out-of-state students, it was $16,996. And for graduate tuition, it was $5,908, and for, for in-state, and then for out-of-state, it was $18,400. Now, this is not including housing, I believe. I'm gonna actually go to the, show you the University of West Georgia, their website, and show you what their fees are including housing and all that good stuff but according to this report from the college tuition compare.com the 2024 estimate on graduate tuition fees for the university of west georgia is five thousand four hundred and thirteen for georgia residents and sixteen thousand four hundred and thirty five dollars for out of student re student re out of state students which is a 3.3 decrease compared to 2023's rate so there goes the big thing tuition i know that's a big factor for a lot of people oh that breeze feels so good but i do want you to know that there are scholarships available especially being an in-state student and you have i believe when i graduated it was a three point when i graduated high school in order to obtain the hope scholarship you had to have graduated with a 3.0 gpa from high school and let's say you go to the university of west georgia for freshman year and you did not have a 3.0 gpa it's okay because you can build yourself up to that 3.0 gpa and qualify for hope so it's not like if you go to college without starting without hope you can't obtain it for in-state residents and also there are you have the pell grant and then you also have a great website which i used when i was in college scholly s-c-h-o-l-l-y and they have so many different scholarships they have scholarships for hbcus they have scholarships for minorities so many different opportunities i'm going to put that right here scholly that is s-c-h-o-l-l-y i'm trying to give you all this skills that i learned along the way i also was a resident assistant back in college so i really made the most of my college experience while paying as little as I could. Being a resident assistant truly helped that out, but I also loved being a resident assistant. I didn't just do it for the free um, housing because I truly did love it. I love my residents. I love the events that I was putting on. So I'm trying to give you all the juice, all the sauce to make college as stress fee on financial wise as possible and then you have cbcf which is the congressional black caucus foundation they helped me i believe three years with scholarships so i'm very grateful for them and then my i have a parent who worked on the airlines so i did receive an airline scholarship for about two or three years as well so i really tried to maximize you know my earnings so that i was getting a refund check which i indeed was so, and then also the University of West Georgia has scholarships specific to their college. And that's that website right here. And yeah, so y'all, y'all do have the opportunity. Um, start applying now, especially if you're a junior in college, start applying to scholarships. Like it's not unattainable. Of course, it's going to take some time, but it's going to pay off in the end, hopefully. So that's some ways to pay for college, especially if you don't want to come out of pocket. 
All right, so moving on from tuition, we have admission requirements. Now, for University of West Georgia, it is test optional for freshman applicants applicants with a GPA of 3.2 or higher through the 2023 through 2024 and 2024 through 2025 academic years. So what does test optional mean? So that means that you do not have to take the SAT and the ACT and or the ACT to get into University of West Georgia if you have a 3.2 GPA graduating high school. So that's a big deal. I took the SAT and ACT, but I feel like a lot of these standards are changing when it comes to, you know, um, getting admitted into college, which is great. So yeah, that's that. And if you don't have the 3.2 GPA, then the list right here is, you know, of what you would need to test in order to be considered for admission into the University of West Georgia. So what do you need financial wise? You're gonna need a $40 non-refundable application fee. And if you're mailing a paper application, do not mail cash, please. You're going to need your official high school transcript sent directly from the high school to the office of admission. So no, you cannot get your transcripts from your school and send them off. They're saying they want it directly from the high school. And if you don't have, you know, the 3.2 GPA, you're gonna need your official SAT and ACT scores. And if you do not want to pay the $40 application fee, I would check with your counselor to see if you are eligible for a fee waiver. Let me tell you how helpful that was for me. I have never paid for a college application fee ever. I got fee waivers. I got fee waivers, I got fee waivers. So I did not have to pay for college and I'm going to tell y'all right now you want to make this like choosing a college that you want to go to is very it's a very it's a, it's a transitional season like it's very it can be very stressful but I'm trying to make it as easy for y'all in terms of financial wise and ease of going from high school to college so what I did I was able to get fee waivers from my counselor to apply and also what I did I used the common app so the common app is great because it allows you to apply to multiple schools using one application because I know it can be a lot applying to different schools paying these different fees and having to fill out different essays but with the common app you are able to apply to multiple schools using one college application now not all colleges are on there but the ones I wanted to go to were very much on there so that was very much a blessing all right y'all and now this is just the uh, admission deadline dates so you got the FAFSA dates the housing application open dates so Pay attention to these dates because they're very important. All right, y'all, and so this is the fact page. If you have any questions, frequently asked questions, you can type in it. I mean, not type, you can click on it from residence halls to housing contracts to roommates to amenities to communities, campus services, access and safety, the pet community. Those are gonna be your frequently asked questions. All right, y'all, and I really love this collegefactual.com about diversity because diversity is very important for me especially when it comes to applying to college diversity is very me period but when i went to a college i wanted to make sure it was diverse not just one ethnic like i wanted a diversity i wanted to explore i wanted to meet friends from different nations and of different genders and i just wanted to have a diverse experience so this is the website that you can go on to see what the University of West Georgia's, you know, male to female ratio is, what's the ethnic, uh, you know, demographics, diversity, all that good stuff, how many students approximately go there. And uh, yeah, really y'all, that's really much kind of the basics, the tuition admission requirements. And if I find anything else, I'm gonna put it up, but yeah y'all nightlife university of west georgia is literally like a college town so i'm sure they have like when i was in college it was a college it was a party school no i didn't go to west georgia but it was a party school so i'm not sure if that's still the case but 
yeah y'all so i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video because i feel like i'm rambling on right now but y'all please let me know what you thought about this video if there's anything that i'm lacking please make sure you um leave a comment and i want to thank you all so much for checking out another video of all things please make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you miss any of the latest content and until the next video please stay safe stay happy stay blessed tell someone that you love them and i will see you all later